be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how I sketch footwear using iPad. So I do a lot of my sketching on iPad now. Um, I think I find it just kind of super simple, makes it very direct. It's nice to be able to kind of sketch from, from anywhere, which I love. Um, I can sketch outside or sketch from the couch or sketch from a comfy chair. This makes it easy. Uh, and I'm gonna be using the Procreate app um, as well as the Apple Pencil today. So let's get into it. So typically when I sketch in Procreate, I like to start out with this pencil, this uh, brush right here, the 6B pencil brush. Um, and I set it all the way to as, as big as possible, as dark as possible when I start out. And I really just wanted to start sketching in some, some ideas. So I'll kind of zoom in my page here and start doing some thumbnails. So you can see this, this pencil is, is nice and, and thick. And I'm really just kind of searching right now. And he's just kind of throwing in a quick silhouette And then I'll start playing. I don't, I don't really have an idea of what I'm gonna be working on today. So a little bit, just, just free forming it here. Maybe do some kind of a, a dynamic blocking like that. When I'm doing thumbnails, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do one and I'll duplicate it. Slide it down. You see I have that now, I have a, as a separate layer. I'm going to turn the opacity on that layer way down and set it below this first layer. Go back to this first layer and now I can start doing another thumbnail in there. I like this bold blocking, but I don't like the way it hits the collar there. So I'll do, I'll do thumbnails like this as a way to, to iterate pretty quickly on an idea. And I like to just try to figure it out, you know, like I'm gonna make some, some mistakes. That's okay, it's all part of it. But this way, I can just keep moving. Instead of, instead of making that mistake on a big sketch where you spent a lot of time on it. Make that mistake on a little sketch. So you see, I, I slid that thumbnail back down again, that first thumbnail, and I'm gonna go over it again. Again with that, using that 6B pencil all the way as fast as possible. I'm gonna give this a little, little attitude it's just this kind of kicked out heel here, but maybe it's been kind of parallel with the ground plane. I'm gonna push that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna lay this color break down a little to give myself a little more room. And then let's see, let's get some some upper stuff going on in here. Right now, I've just been keeping it almost like a, just a blank. Maybe just a simple U-bell construction. Notice how I'm, I'm kind of zooming in and out, keeping that really fat pencil. but getting that kind of zoom in and out. I'll slide that thumbnail down one more time. I think we're getting, I think we're getting close to something here. Kind of lay this back even just a little bit more. For those of you just joining, thanks thanks for stopping by on a Sunday here, working on a little footwear sketch on iPad. 
gonna bring that chamfer back to the parallel to the horizon. But maybe this upper actually comes off of this this form. You get this form break here, and then maybe this. Yeah, maybe this is gonna swing like that. something. Just gonna shorten that toe a little bit. My uh, good friend Scott, who's chief design officer at Colano, says I always draw my toes a little too long. I like the sleekness of a long toe, but it doesn't always look right. All right that's got a little stubby. But I think there's enough there for it to play with. I'm gonna delete this little layer here. So I'm gonna take this one and using the freehand selection tool here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see a little bit more what I'm doing. So using this freehand selection tool, I'm gonna grab that little sketch. And using three fingers to swipe up and then duplicate it. And zoom back out. Scale them up. So I'm taking that little thumbnail that I did and making it very large. I'm gonna turn these thumbnails off. And I'm gonna flip it that flip horizontal. When I flip it, it helps me to just kind of see it a little bit better. And now using the warp tool, I'm gonna push and pull that a little bit just to get the proportions a little bit more where I want them. I'm gonna pull that toe a little bit out. Okay, it's a little better, a little better. Okay, I'm gonna flip it again back to where I had it. Just use the distort tool a little, pull that up a little. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go back into the layer palette here. So you can see I have my, my thumbnail layer, and then this is that big thumbnail. I'm gonna turn the opacity way down on that. Just so I can just barely see it. And I'm gonna add a new layer on top. And we're gonna go back to that 6B pencil and make it a little bit smaller. It's gonna start, start sketching in the outline here. So notice how I turn that canvas so that I can get the kind of natural arc of my, my arm a little better. I'm gonna <laughs> I keep alternating between making this line parallel with the horizon and dipping it. I think seeing it, I think it needs to dip. I think it's gotta dip a little. It's a little stagnant. And then this line, I'm gonna pull this line back a little bit. So kind of a nice combination between some angular things going on and some soft things going on. I'm gonna pull this midsole line down just a little bit. One thing I like about Procreate is if, if you just kind of hold your line like this, you'll get a, a, a straight line or a curve if you're arcing, and then you can click that and now it'll let you edit that line just for, just for a little bit. I want to do that just to get like a little bit of a feel for that. Yeah, that feels right. It's kind of a neat feature. Okay, 
and that heel shape a little bit nicer. It was not very nice in my, my thumbnail, but that's okay, because it was a thumbnail. And I'm gonna do the same thing, that straight line technique. Bring that down a little bit. Hmm, <laughs> do I like that? I don't know. It feels a little stiff. Hmm. You know what, I think this line is just a little too low. So I'm gonna actually undo till I get to that line. And this is what I'm gonna do with this line. It's just too many lines that just go and, and don't do anything. So what I'm gonna do is just give that a little bit of a little action like that there. needed to do something. And this one, I think I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna make it a slight arc. So, see I drew an arc there, and then I'm holding it. I'm gonna hit edit shape, boom, arc. because I really wanted a nice, clean line there. Okay, I'm gonna get this eye row sketched in. So this is a, a U-bell is what this is called, where the eye row comes up and over and around. So in the top view, you know, it looks like something like that. But that's gonna, that, that piece of material can't wrap all the way around because it just, it's not possible. It has, to, it has to split somewhere. So what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna jog that and then drop that down. So now when that pattern is opened up, it can be it can be split. And then this little Achilles pad here, I'm gonna have that be a separate part. And that can be actually a mesh part. Probably a little, a little tall. I like to kind of have, I like to have the heel just a little bit taller than the top of my eye row, but that's a little extreme. So I'm gonna, in my eraser, if you, if you double tap your Apple Pencil, it'll switch between whatever your brush tool is and the eraser tool, which is pretty handy. So let's try that again, just bring it down a little bit. So again, a little notch for the Achilles here. I think that's a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, more reasonable. Austin Kramer, I see in the chat, says he's been sketching footwear and Procreate all week, so <laughs> this might be very similar to what you've been doing, or maybe, maybe not. It's always good to see someone, what someone else does. I love seeing how other people work, because I have always, they always use tools that I don't use, or they use things differently than I use them. All right, let me get this tongue in there.
finish off this midsole. Sketch in our toe. And a little bit of a ground plane in here. So our, our design is sitting on something. So you notice I used that straight line tool again. Now I turned it all the way up to totally as thick as it can go. I'm just gonna meet it kind of halfway. And then get going from the other side because you notice how it starts thin and then gets thick and I want that I want to taper out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna turn off our thumbnail. Let's see what we're working with here. So one thing that bothers me about this design is this area right here. So this would be hypothetically midsole. And that's pretty high for a midsole and it's coming to a point. And then it's gonna hit these four materials, this, you know, this upper quarter panel, this toe piece, and this um, heel foxing or, or heel cup all the way wrapping around. And that's, it's just not gonna look good. And I think if you've, if you've built shoes before, you know, like where four materials come together, you always end up with something, something that's not really aligned. So what I'm gonna do is when it intentionally break that, because we know it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna just round this peak a little bit because this is gonna be an injection EVA, okay? I'm gonna come back in, erase our line. Get my eraser size right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna dive that a little bit sooner. See that now we're avoiding that little area where, where four materials come together. And it's, it's reasonable that they could line up this one, these two materials, I mean, that's reasonable. So leave that one there. All right. So now we've got kind of the general lines of the sketch, but there's, there's no detail, right? So now we got to start coming in and figuring out what we're going to do in all these different areas. So I'm going to make another little change here. Instead of having this line come down completely, I'm going to have this change directions. be a little bit of a jog. I'm gonna make my pencil a little bit thicker just to get these outlines in here. And you notice like I'm not being too precious with the lines, letting them be kind of sketchy. You know, I think one of the things with digital is it's, it's so tempting to, to make everything perfect, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, we're just, we're just doing a sketch here. All right. You can see how just adding that little bit of a darker line at the bottom is giving a little bit of weight. So that little, it started already making it a little bit more dynamic. All right, now we gotta come in here and start figuring out some of our details. What are we gonna do for laces? I think I wanna do a combination of hidden and exposed laces. I'm gonna do one kind of webbing one. So I'm gonna do a P 
piece of webbing. It's coming up from the midsole here. And then where it doubles back, so it's gonna roll over and capture a lace. Actually, let me pull that up a little bit. It's gonna roll over and capture a lace and then come back down. Where it comes back down, I'm gonna have it get captured into this layer here. Yeah, okay. Something, that's something. So we know we're gonna have a lace here. I'm just gonna sketch that in. And then let's have a few, maybe two, just punched holes through here. And just being super sketchy. Then maybe we'll have another piece of webbing here. That one's stitched into the into the lining. And then finish off with let's do let's do some more punched eyelets, but have it be this little, maybe this welded reinforced piece here. And that kind of will, at least in the sketch, create a little bit of a nice synergy between the uh, bottom of the tongue. So this will be a, a welded reinforced part. And we're gonna punch some holes through that. All right, so let's flip it over, see how, what I'm thinking about it here. It's not too bad. Let me hit my warp tool again. It's gonna pull that toe out a little bit, pull that heel out a little. Maybe push that up, push that down. I notice my one thing I notice is this is getting a little thin here. Again, just a little bit easier to see that sometimes when you flip it over, even for me. I'm gonna come in and take this lower line out. make that toe spring, spring a little bit less extreme. A little bit more realistic. That's uh, it's a little better, a little more realistic. And then one thing I'm gonna do here is just gonna add in another little layer here to show the lining. So unless it's a knit shoe, there's gonna be a little bit of an extra line here where the lining meets the rest of the upper and is turned over. And so that's just kind of shadowing uh, or duplicating the top line. So I'm gonna raise my uh, my weight on or my thickness on that brush again. So I wanna get the overall outline of the shoe. I'm gonna let that dark line continue here because it's gonna create a little visual separation between the tongue and the upper.
go. All right. The next thing I'm gonna do, so again, going into my layers, this was all, all my thumbnails. This was my big thumbnail. I'm gonna add another layer and I drop that just below my line work layer. And that's, I'm gonna be using to color block. So I think what I'm gonna do here is do kind of, you know what? Mm -hmm. You know what, I've changed my mind. I see something, I'm gonna add back into the sketch here. There's no, there's a midsole, but I haven't really defined an outsole. So I'm gonna add in another layer, another line here, which will denote another layer in the tooling. That'll be a separation between the EVA midsole and the outsole, which would be compression rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, maybe this would be kind of peak there. I'm going to add just another little kind of like a sculpt line here. Let's, let's pull that off. They're not quite mirroring each other. And I'm just gonna let it fade out. So this would be kind of doing that. This would be doing that. Yeah, cool, cool. And then this line will make that actually a bit of a chamfer there. All right, okay. So now I'm going to just add a little bit of color blocking on this layer below. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the color palette pretty simple on this. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of a white and like a soft gray. Um, let's see. I always have trouble finding an airbrush. I'm gonna go airbrush, hard airbrush. So that's kind of my medium gray, and then a natural kind of a tone. It's kind of a natural cream, and then a gum rubber. So something like that. So those would be my colors for the shoe. So since I have the gum rubber in there, I'm gonna start that with the outsole here. Another cool procreate trip, procreate tip is if you don't have to actually fill these things in, you can go up here to the color and drag it in. Oops, I actually changed the color. Ugh, what did I do there? That was so weird. It's alright, we can eyedropper that. If you hold also, if you hold down, you can eyedropper. Then you can take this and drag it in there and it fills it in. It's supposed to be a shortcut, but since I screwed it up and made it a long cut. All right. So obviously I'm not rendering this yet. I'm just, just adding color to, to block it in. Already, you can kind of start to see where it's, where it's heading. Um, let's see here. I'm going to use this kind of medium gray. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit lighter than that. I want 
this piece to be that you know, light gray. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Just kind of changing brush size as needed to get into all these little corners. Little drag trick doesn't work perfectly, but it's pretty good. Now I'm going to get a little bit of darker gray here for this webbing part. And then it's natural. I'm going to take that down just a little bit. I'm going to add another layer behind this layer because I already filled in this stuff and I'm now going to do this quarter panel and I, by doing it behind, see, I could be a little bit sloppy. Okay, and then I'm gonna make the tongue, this little Achilles notch and the toe will be mesh. I feel like maybe use a little color pop. Let me do a little orange. So this little webbing here and then the lining. We'll add a little something. And you know, this is a sketch, so keep it loose. Don't worry about it being too perfect, you know? I feel like we need a little bit of, a little bit of something in this outsole too. Oops, it's on a different layer. Converge these now. I like to merge my layers down. I, I, I don't know why, but <laughs> I hate having too many layers. I guess I just get confused. Yeah, I think it's just that little, gives it a little something. Go back up to my sketch layer. Go back to my 6B pencil. So I can just put that little change into the line work. All right. Get rid of all the colored dots here. 
I'm gonna start putting on some pretty rudimentary shading. So in between this color black layer and my line art layer, I'm gonna make that a shading layer. I'm just gonna start with black and airbrush and keep it just a nice big airbrush right now. So I'm just getting the overall form. So I'm gonna start by just darkening that heel. Let's get down to a, a smaller soft airbrush and add little bit of a shadow here as the as the material starts to kind of roll over into the into the uh, midsole and then another little bit here to show how the material rolls back over the toe and the instep you see how even just doing that right just automatically makes some pretty big changes so now I'm gonna add another layer. That's kind of my, my overall shadows. So I wanna start kind of showing off some of my character lines going on here. So I'm gonna come back to my eraser, hard airbrush. what that's doing already. Take that down a little bit here, you know, a little too dark in the front. Okay, merge that one down, add another one. Oops, my eraser. That's why it's not drawing, it's not an eraser, guys. So I wanna show this character line off. Now that's not gonna be a huge form shift there, so I'm not gonna to do too much. Oops, gotta go back to hard airbrush. want to show as much of this as possible with with gradation not with line you see what that's starting to do it's a little bit dark come back to this soft airbrush eraser just lighten it down a little bit still needs to look like a white midsole. There we go. Merge that down. Okay. Add another one. So I'm just adding a new layer each time I'm doing kind of a new little zone here. So this is kind of popping out and this is in. soft go back to hard hairbrush for the eraser okay see that now we're, we're seeing that a little more clearly I'm lighten it just a little bit up and I'm gonna merge it one more here. So there's this chamfer here that I want to show off. And that kind of rolls under for the midsole. So I want to take that, continue that backwards. Showing a little bit of a radius there. Look at, look at that already. We haven't really done that much. Merge that down. Okay, now I'm gonna start 
adding a little bit of shadow into the upper. So this we're gonna make a mesh and it's, it's kind of coming into this overlay here. So it's, you can see it's kind of puffing out a little bit. Just wanna hint at that. Don't need to go too crazy there. We see how we create a little bit of definition. And then we have this piece of webbing here. And I wanna show that it's folded over itself. Again, you're racing back out. See what we've done by doing that? Merging that down. Then this, this webbing is gonna be digging into the upper just a little bit. So I'm giving it like almost like a little, this little cast shadow. As it's over these other parts. I'm gonna do the same here. As this U-bell is kind of over top of the toe. And then just come in, just give a little bit more definition in here. I don't wanna go too crazy. this one down. I want to come through here like this a little. Oh, that's a little too much. A little too much. Now I can erase that back. And then let's see, let's add a, a white layer. Let's add a, another layer on top. Do a little white airbrush for this piece here. Just want to brighten that up a little bit because that's kind of really turned upward. Same here. Same there. Just clean that up with my eraser. that down again okay so now I've got three key layers now basically right so I've got this shadow layer and I've got this color black layer and we've got kind of the sloppy line work I feel pretty good about this layer actually you know what that's a little a little messy there let's clean that up a little bit but maybe there would be a little bit of shadow being caught there. Yeah, Ed, Ed Rich has been watching my, my quick takes. Uh, you know, I try to do quick takes pretty frequently, but um, yeah, I haven't really done one, an iPad kind of breakdown how I do it. So you guys get to see a little bit of that now. That's maybe a little dark. Take that down a little, merge it down. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this, um, this shadow layer. So, so, you know, all my shadows right now are on the separate layer. I could come back in here, just kind of neaten that up a little bit. I think this sketch is gonna be done soon. I think what the last thing it needs is just a little bit of texture. So after I erase out all this extra, that just cleans it up a little bit. Okay. Let's add in some texture. So Procreate has actually some great little hidden textures, not just in the texture, um, 
palette here, but also if you go into, I think it's is it elements, nope, not elements. Um, yeah, vintage. There's some great textures that I like to use for things like midsoles. So I'm gonna do this, actually I'm gonna do this, this one, Galaxius. I'm gonna put a new layer over top here I'm just gonna start throwing in some midsole textures that will just help make this feel a little bit more real. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the opacity on this so I'm not gonna worry about it being too heavy. Actually, let's not do that texture. Let's do Myrtle. I think that's the one I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit down. This is going to help me define some of these chamfers and things, just like I would do in, in real life. I would use textures this way. Let's do a different one. Let's try this newsprint one out here for this area. So I'm being careful not to pick my, my brush up off the iPad because if I do, It'll start the texture pattern in a different spot. Okay. And I'm just gonna take the opacity on those down just a little bit. Just so they're just kind of there, but barely there. Let's see, and I'm gonna get, um, go back into the textures palette. I like this decimals one to kind of indicate a micro perf. So let's say maybe that's a little too big. This part is micro perfed. Again, not picking up my uh, my pencil. I'm gonna erase that back out where I don't need it. And then we said this part was gonna be webbing. So I'm just gonna go back to my 6B pencil, take that down a little bit and then indicate some webbing just by putting some, some horizontal lines in it here. Keeping it loose, keeping it sketchy. doesn't have to be perfect. Sketches aren't supposed to be perfect. See how that's starting to feel a little bit like webbing already? Come back with a little white. So that's kind of rounding over. Also kind of pick up some of this top edge here. Look at that. That's really starting to come to life now. Okay, and then I said this was a little bit of a welded piece here, so how I'm gonna simulate that is I'm gonna get an airbrush, soft airbrush, white. I'm gonna do this and then come back with my eraser. 
So I put like a little reflection through there, and now it looks like it's a, a part that's welded over top. Neaten that up. Oh shoot, I did this on the same layer as my, my microperf. All right, I've gotta do that again on a different layer. It's okay, make a mistake, easy to fix. There we go, right back where we were. There we go, and merge that down. Actually, there's a little bit of extra here I can see. All right, so I have my texture layer in there. zoom in so you guys can see that. Um, and let's start, let's say, color drop that. Let's put those in shadow there. Same for these guys or back here. The last texture I need, so I, I said I was gonna do this mesh, mesh, mesh. So I'm gonna show you how I do that really quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop out of here and into Safari. And it's gonna do a quick search for mesh textile swatch. I have a bunch of these saved, but I want to show you how you can do it. So you can grab a, a piece of mesh, as long as it's a, a decent decent size. Let's do this, the spacer mesh one. I'd probably do this just fine. I'm gonna add that to my photos. Let's see if we can do tools, large. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. Maybe if I just do this. Spacer mesh. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Might be the same one. <laughs> see. But I should do it's fine. So now I'm going to go in here and then say, add, insert a photo. Yeah, I think those were the same file. Uh, place this in here. And I'm gonna duplicate this a few times because I'm gonna move it around for my, my, different, my different areas. So I'll say duplicate, pop one here, and duplicate again. Whoops. Why'd you do that? Okay, did do it. So I get one here, and I have one over, whoops. And we're gonna have this one, and be for the tongue. Okay, let's start with the toe one. So I'm gonna use the warp tool here. And I'm gonna really try to give it a little bit of a sense of it's, it's rounding rounding over by kind of compressing it at the bottom and compressing it at the top. Okay, and now I'm gonna do, whoops, something similar with this one, which is gonna be the tongue. So I want that kind of mesh to Align with that there. Uh, whoops, let me. Oh, it's okay, let's erase that. We're duplicating over the toe there. And then same back here, this one. So let's say this one, and then we're going to use warp again. See, so that it's compressing a little bit as it's wrapping around, right? So it's, it's going like that around. So it's gonna give it a little bit more of that illusion of being a little bit more real. 
So looks like a mess right now, but I'm gonna merge this down, merge that down, and then I'm gonna drag this all the way behind my color black layer. You see where that's starting to go now. And it can erase out the what I don't need. Love that magic. Racing. I don't know why they're, I find that racing so much fun. It's very, uh, it's soothing, oddly. All right. Lighten that down a little bit just by making it a little more transparent. And we're ready for our last layer. So the last layer I'm going to add on here is just for highlights. So little bit of hit edges, put some white back into that mesh. Let's start with that. Yeah, it makes it look a little less uniform, right? Just to bring some of these highlights back in here. little bit. Okay. Then come back with my pencil. We're almost done. This is this is the finishing touches now. I want to show that this layer is an overlay. This is over top of that mesh. Just hit a little bit of this U-bell here. I'm gonna use the white to clean up my laces. Oh, that is, let's put this on all the way on the top here. Come on. So if you click and hold these layers, you can, you can drag them around. Get them where you need to be. I really like this this six B pencil. Just it's a little loose. It's a little rough. We have this little welded thing here, so I want to show that edge. Again, that's got a little bit of dimension. bit of highlight around these eyelets. There we go. That is getting there. I think this line needs to be a little darker. This line is between the upper and the midsole. Let's, let's throw a little bit of a highlight here in between the outsole and the midsole. Take the pressure down a little bit on there. So you'd always have a little bit. It's never going to be perfect. There's always going to be a little bit of an edge here showing. I 
and maybe around this color dam too. Yeah, that's really, that's helping it pop a little bit. Want it to pop off the page a little. too for this get this line in just a little bit of highlight top of here I think Showing a little bit of some of the direction of some of these different things here. All right, there we go. If I want to just get this page up a little bit, let's give it a signature. Is this helpful? Hope this uh, this shows you a little bit of how I do it. If you've been watching along on my, my quick take series, I'm gonna just move some of these, whoops. Move some of these uh, thumbnails around here so we can compose a, a little bit of a page. Oh, it'd be good if I was on the right layer. Being on the right layer helps Maybe we'll just make those fade a little bit. All right, should we do a quick layer rundown? So these are the layers. So we've got this highlight layer. We've got the color black layer. We've got the mesh layer, other texture layer, the shading layer. That's it. So that's what it looks like. Just a sketch, not super pretty, but not, not too bad. We turn the color blocking on. Let's turn the shading on first. That's what it looks like with the shading. Just the shading and the color blocking. We'll add our textures and highlights back in. All right, everybody, hope this was helpful. Um, if you like it, if you thought it was helpful, share it with some friends, share it with some people. That's always great. Um, like and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see more of. Until next time, keep sketching. All right, everybody, have a great night.